hey friends welcome back to my channel my name is mansa and in today's video i will be sharing with you my signature banana bread recipe super easy moist and so delicious all my friends and family know me for it they love it and i'm going to be sharing my secret ingredients today and i would also be talking to you guys about my hundred thousand subscriber giveaway that is coming up so i'm excited for that so stay tuned welcome back friends so we're going to start off with our creaming process and i'm going in with one stick of butter this is salted butter by the way kerrygold which is my favorite brand really um delicious and high quality make sure it's a room temperature and going in with my hand mixer you can use just a whisk by the way to make this recipe it is super super easy so i'm going in with my hand mixer just to cream it really good and then i would go in with one cup of brown sugar you need brown sugar or at least light brown sugar that is what gives me that nice beautiful brown color naturally without burning your uh, banana bread so you want to cream the butter and the brown sugar and now i have two eggs okay now i would just add one egg at a time just to incorporate it into the butter and sugar mixture then i beat that for a few seconds and once that incorporates i would go in with the second egg this recipe does not call for a lot of beating you just want to beat enough to just mix the ingredients together it is super simple super easy so quick that i actually start my oven before even mixing it because it is so so easy but so delicious the choices here is what makes this banana bread my signature banana bread and i will be sharing with you my secret ingredient to always getting the perfectly moist banana bread each time now once we get all of that mixed in i scrape down the sides of my bowl and now my secret ingredient instead of milk i always always use sour cream at room temperature this is half a cup of sour cream if you have never used sour cream in your banana bread start doing it now and please come back and let us know in the comment section this will stay moist for so long i freeze this banana bread i live it in the refrigerator and everything and it stays really moist of course i am going in with one teaspoon of vanilla extract it just makes everything so beautiful those are my wet ingredients and i just go ahead and just mix it for a few seconds just to get everything incorporated remember we're not trying to overbeat any other things in here so that is it it looks really nice and creamy already so i'm gonna put that on the side and move on to of course the start of the show which is the bananas of course we need bananas for banana bread now i typically will use two to three large bananas you are looking for at least one cup of mashed bananas now the darker the bananas the the more natural sweetness it has so i leave mine until they're like ready to just <laughs> fall apart really really ripe because it, get, it has the natural sweetness to it man and you mix it with that brown um sugar that contains the molasses it just has that signature taste that nothing else gives me so just go ahead and peel your bananas i'm opting in for three bananas today because i didn't want to waste any other bananas that i had at home so but let's just peel them and then you want to go ahead and um mash these bananas if this is your first time on this channel you are absolutely welcome my name is mansa queen and on this channel i share a lot of simple recipes because you know what we're all busy we got all got life going on and sometimes we just need to make something quick and easy for the whole family so if that's something up your alley do consider subscribing i have a lot of videos that you can go through and you can hit on that subscribe button and also while you're at it hit on the notification bell it will keep you updated on um each time i post a new video now i mash my bananas but i don't make them like silky smooth i like a little bit bit of um lumps in it so that when i make my bread i can see them peeking through that's how i just like mine now it is time to combine my butter mixture and the mashed bananas and once we get those in we're just going to simply combine it at this point i'm not using my mixer anymore i'm just going in with a spatula you can go in um go in with a whisk if that's what you have and now i am adding here one and a half cups of all-purpose flour 
already sifted. This flour mixture contains one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Like I said, I already sifted it um, off camera. And I also added one teaspoon of baking soda. And no, you cannot substitute it with baking powder. You need baking soda. And one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Sometimes I like to do nutmeg or even a combination of both. So that is all I have in there for my dry ingredients. So once we put in a flour mixture, we're just going to go ahead and fold that in with my spatula. Again, trying not to over mix. Okay. Remember to um, scrape the sides of your bowl and also the bottom so you don't have any dry pockets of flour sitting there. So this is a batter. It is nice and ready. And now I am going to be using today a 9x5 glass baking dish. And this is the perfect size for this amount of batter. I am going in with some baking spray which already contains flour in it. If you don't have a baking spray, simply go in lightly with some butter and coat it with some excess flour. Just make sure that you dust off any excess flour so your bread does not come out looking ashy, okay? <laughs> So I also like to go in with my pasted brush and just even out that spray that way it does not just stay patchy and then I pour in my beautiful batter in there. This amount of batter works perfectly for a 9 by 5 I have made this recipe countless times and it has never failed. It always gives me the perfect banana bread loaf each time that I make it. So yeah, I just pour in all that batter and just try to even it out as much as possible and you already know how we drop it pop it drop it you know release excess air bubbles make sure that it's nice and even so that our bread um, can bake more evenly and then it goes into our oven 350 degrees fahrenheit for an hour and mine took exactly 60 minutes and ta-da guys look at that the perfect golden brown banana bread it is so perfect and it smells absolutely divine with that cinnamon in there my kitchen smells so so good right now i wish y'all i wish youtube could just add a um a smell button so that y'all can just smell it so make sure that you check your bread and it is done i just do that by inserting a skewer in the middle part of the bread which is the thickest part and when it comes out dry then you know that your um, banana bread is absolutely done so now let's talk about a giveaway i just want to give back to this beautiful community on here so i am starting off by gifting this is the first this is like the mega prize i am giving um uh, this blender set this is a ninja so you know this is good stuff it comes contains a 72 ounce blender a 64 ounce food food processor and two ninja um cups for like smoothies and let me tell you this is a 1500 watt so it is powerful it is the same one that i have in my kitchen i want to give exactly what i am using and nothing short of that i would also be um gifting somebody this tramontina three-piece set this can comes with um i believe a five quart um cast iron enamel cast iron dutch oven it is so beautiful and it comes in three colors so you get to choose whatever color you want and also comes with a cast iron skillet that also has a silicone handle that a lot of you um, ask me about in my recipes it is absolutely a beautiful set and shipping and everything is going to be on me and i would also be giving out um two of these baking pans this is the original bun pan so it is nice and thick and very durable it is non-stick it is exactly the one i use in my recipes again i am not giving out anything that i would not use myself so these are stuff that i have and you guys see in my videos and they work it is my own little way of appreciating this beautiful community that i have built over here and another thing i want to point out is that this giveaway entry is only open to usa residents i am so sorry but shipping outside of the u.s with these heavy items can be a whole lot that uh it's just not gonna work for me so just make sure that um you're following my second channel at home with mansa i share a lot of shop with me videos lately i've been doing vlogs i'll do a lot of seasonal stuff 
I also have a Facebook and Instagram business page where sometimes I share recipes that are not even on my YouTube channel. So if you are on those platforms, feel free to follow me on there. You don't have to do it. This is not mandatory. But the only thing that will be mandatory for this giveaway entry is to follow me on my second channel at Home with Manson. Drop me a comment in my latest video. That way I can see you. And also drop a comment in this video. Let me know where you're watching me from and what you like about this channel and just how long you've been watching me. And I would appreciate that. So now back to our recipe. Our cute little bread has rested for a bit and now it's time to invert it. And you can see how easily it just slide out. My baking tin is still so clean and it is just perfect. It is still very warm and um, soft to the touch. So I'm handling it with care and just flip it back up. And guys, I'm going to cut into it as usual because I want you guys to see what it looks like on the inside. It is so soft. You can tell from the way I'm just cutting it. So, so soft and really delicious. Again, you can add some nuts in here. If you are a love of walnuts, pecans, whatever nuts you like, you can add nuts here. My kids are allergic, so I usually would not add nuts to my baked goods. I like to have this for breakfast, and all I do is pop it into the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds and get me a nice cup of tea, and I am in La La Land. Again, don't forget to drop your comment to get into the giveaway entry. Let me know where you're watching me from and what you love about this channel. Really important to me, and I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you all.